I promised you tutorials on the Arduino board, and I am now delivering. I'm going to be 100% honest with you, though. This is kind of new to me, so I'm doing these tutorials as I'm learning. So hopefully my ignorance on the subject might make it so that I can explain things simply to you guys, or I just make an ass of myself. Anyway, today we're going to start off very simple stuff. We're going to make an LED blink with our first program. I'm also going to show you how to install the Arduino software on the Linux machine. And um, hopefully after a couple of tutorials we'll start getting at interesting things with motors and other type of sensors. But today, we're keeping it simple, working with LEDs. Okay, luckily since we're running Linux, the drivers for the Arduino board uh, have been built into the most recent kernel, so there's no drivers to install to access the device, but we still need to install the Arduino package so we can write and compile software for the Arduino. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Arduino site, which is arduino.cc. When we get here, we're going to click on Get Started. Under the Get Started section, we can scroll down. They have directions for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'm currently running Linux Mint, which is based on Ubuntu, so I'm just going to click the directions for Ubuntu here. And I'm going to scroll down, and right here we have a link that says uh, launchpad.net, Arduino, Ubuntu team. Uh, we're going to choose that, click on that for now, and we're going to scroll down, and we're going to have to add Arduino repositories. So we're going to highlight this uh, link right here, the PPA colon Arduino dash Ubuntu dash team forward slash PPA. And we're going to add that repository. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to go to our terminal. We're going to do sudo add apt dash repository. And we're going to paste that information. Copy, paste. And we're going to hit enter here. It should take a few seconds and it's add the repository and the key for that repository to our list of repositories. Now at this point, we can do sudo aptitude update. Now when I originally did this on my uh, main system, I had no problems, and I but I have a problem now and I'm running a live system to show you this install. So maybe that I'm running a live system of Linux Mint, or maybe I did something different the first time. But you see we got an error here. It's saying that it, the, the link is not found, the package is not found. We're going to have to go and make a little change. So if you get that error, I'm going to go into, I should probably show you how I got there. Uh, it's just software resources. So if you're in Linux Mint, you can do a search for this. If you're in Ubuntu, you wouldn't have this problem. So just type in software and do software sources. And I'm going to go other, and you can see down here our Launchpad Arduino. We're going to edit that. And you can see here it did distribution uh, Helena, which is the Linux Mint. We're going to change that to Karmic. Okay. And then we'll close that. It will want to refresh the repositories for us. And we shouldn't get any errors here. And we are good to go. There we go. Okay, so it's the repositories are added, and we're going to do sudo aptitude install Arduino. And we're going to say yes, install all those packages, and it will download all of them. Looks like there's going to be, what does it say, six of them, and uh, about... 14 megabytes to download and about 48 after it's uncompressed. But this will download the uh, the Java uh, based um, compiler so you can write out your code, compile it, and upload it to your Arduino board with ease. The next thing you're going to do is plug your USB into your computer and then into your Arduino board. Once you have installed the Arduino software and connected your Arduino board uh, to your USB port on your computer, uh, you can open up the Arduino software by either going to your Applications menu up to uh, the Programs folder and selecting the Arduino uh, software from there, or you can just type Arduino at the command line. It will open up the application, which looks like this, and the first thing you're going to want to do is go up to Tools and go down to Board and make sure you have your board style selected, and then you're going to go to Serial Port and choose your correct serial port. I'm using USB, so I chose uh, USB 0 there. Once that's selected, we can go to File, 
and we can go down to examples and there's plenty of examples already built into the application luckily since this is an open source project there's plenty of examples not only uh, that comes with the software but available online and the uh, application that we are going to be using today is the blink application so choose that and uh, when it loads it will look like this and um, we'll go over in a moment what this does line by line but basically it's going to make an LED on the board blink so what we're going to do now is we're going to compile and then upload the software so to compile you can just press this uh, play button here and you'll see it says compiling and then done compiling and hopefully you didn't get any errors you shouldn't with this program when you're writing your own it will come back and tell you what lines are having problems if you mistype something so it's compiled but we still have to upload it to the board so we're going to click this little bar uh, button here that says upload so we're going to click that it says uploading to board and then done uploading uh, other ways to do this you can also go file and you can uh, do upload to board uh, I also like to use control R to compile and then control U to upload. I just like using shortcut keys. So let's have a look at what this program does. As the software is uploading to your Arduino board, you'll see this transmit receive LEDs here flicker. Once the code is done uploading, it will start running it. And our first code here is making this LED blink. That's a built-in LED that's built into pin 13 here on your board. And you'll notice it's blinking every second on, then off for a second, and then it loops forever. Now, uh, not every board, although most of them, will have that built-in LED, but our program actually is working off pin 13 right here. So, if I was to take an LED light, like so, which are polarized, so you have to make sure you put them in in the right way, you can see that one of the leads here is shorter than others, and the short and then the other. The shorter one is your negative or your ground. So if you look at your pins here on your board, you have a ground and you have pin 13 next to each other. So I'm just going to take this red LED and I'm going to stick the positive into pin 13 and the negative into ground. Now as I do this, you'll see that the red LED now starts blinking. This LED is still blinking, but not as bright as before because we're drawing more power into this light. Now, normally when you're working with LEDs with this, like this, you have to be careful because you can burn them out pretty easy. If you were to take this and stick it right into like a 9-volt battery, you'll fry it out. You'll hear this sizzling pop noise and it won't light up anymore. Um, so you'll usually want to use resistors. And from what I've read, pin 13 has a built-in resistor. In future tutorials, we'll go over hooking up a resistor to a breadboard with an LED, basically using this same code, maybe modified a little bit. But there you go, you got your LED blinking. Let's have a look at the code. Line by line, this is what this program does. Uh, the top section here is all just commenting, all this right here. You can tell it's been commented by using the forward slash asterisk, and then it goes all the way down to the asterisk uh, forward slash. That signifies all this is commenting. It's mainly telling you what this program is going to do, who created